Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute um, lip balm holders. I have used the Yesterday and Today paper collection um, and along with um, the Yesterday and Today card making um, stamp set, I used this cute little thing to decorate and some thin cut ovals for the tag. So let me show you how I made these. Or actually, let me, I'll just put a little closer for you. So it's kind of like a little tent um, and you can see the lip balm in there. Um, and it's just a fun little gifty that you can put on somebody's desk or place holder and a table or just to give a friend um, a little something. So let me put these aside and I'll show you how to make them. So this piece of pattern paper measures um, four and a fourth by four and a fourth. And we're going to score that. And the first one will be at three and a fourth, or sorry, three fourths, not three and a fourth, three fourths, and then three and a half. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to score at one inch, one and three fourths, two and a half, and three and a fourth. Okay, we're gonna put this aside. And then we're going to trim off these four corners so you can kind of see Probably can see it better on this side. I'm just gonna trim those up on the score lines. Kind of hard to tell with the little patterns. You can also make these with cardstock. Um, I just thought the pattern was super fun and it makes it really easy without having to decorate it too much when you already have the pattern on the paper. Okay. We got rid of those four corners. And then we need to just um, snip up to the score lines on both sides. Why this pattern is kind of hard to see where those are, but I think it's right there. <laughs> and right there. Okay. Now we're just going to fold on those score lines. Okay, and then fold these tabs. Those will be the side of, sides of our box. All right. So I'm just taking some liquid glue and just put a little bit right there and then you match it up with that side. Just make just a little square. There you go. I'm just going to hold it for just a minute. It holds pretty well. And then we'll just do this side. Let's see. We'll do it a little bit different. So we'll do the center. Try to get my finger in there. There we go. Hold it down. And then our last tab, I'll just hold that down. Okay. All right. And then we just need to punch, let me put this away, punch those little holes for our ribbon. Um, this is an eighth of an inch hole punch. And I just pinch it just a little bit I line it up. Oh, <laughs> all right, silly box. Okay, line it up, pinch it just a little bit with my fingers and hold it. And then I'm just gonna punch a hole there and punch a hole on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to take 12 it's about 12 inches of ribbon or twine. I used the mink twine on this. 
These boxes are pretty small, so I didn't want to use like a full size ribbon because I think it'd just be all ribbon, but that would probably be really cute too. Maybe I'll try that next time. Okay. I'm just gonna pull that through, and then of course we need a cute little, oops, I need the lip gloss in there. So before you tie it, you wanna put your little chapstick in there. Okay, and then of course we need a cute little tag. I just cut um, this oval using the oval, the stitched oval thin cuts. And then I stamped this little flower image from that um, yesterday and today card making stamp set. So this one right here, and it also has thin cuts as an option on, with that stamp set. So I've already stamped that in smoothie ink and I'm going to just put a little hole punch there. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to add that flower. Now you can add a little stamp or if you wanna write their name on that with maybe like um, a journaling pen or something, you totally could, or you can just leave it just like that. I think it just adds a little bit to the gift box. Okay, you see that? Super cute. All right, now we can just tie that on. It's gonna do a little half knot. Thread that through and tie it on just like that. That'd be a cute little chapstick holder. And I tr try to use each um, pattern that comes in that yesterday, yesterday and today paper packet. Um, I just thought that little smoothie flower just added a little pop of color. So I will put the directions in um, the description of the video and also the items that I used um, if you want to create some of these on your own. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. See you, bye.